Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. I am still getting used to this temporary 1 p.m. Central Standard Time reset of the game and offers and everything else. <laughs> it's just so much. Um, and we have uh, the ultimate piggy bank offer on a Monday. And this could be several different things. This is the Battle Piggy Bank for $15. We have a small amount of Elder's Marks, 360 to fill, and that gets five Victory Shields and five Shuffles. I have 13 of these. I've never used one. I forget that this thing even exists. i got to be honest. I forget it even exists. And then, of course, I don't spend money on victory shields, even for valiant players. Even for valiant players, YouTube. Victory shields are crazy expensive. You get to buy one for 1,450 trophy tokens. That is not cheap at all. Or 90 units. So they're going to try to say, based off of the, the math of this, that if one victory shield is 90 units, then five victory shields is 450 units, which means that for $15, you could get uh, really not much value at all. <laughs> uh, see, here's the problem with this whole battleground setup. I got very lucky and won multiple matches. In the last three matches, I played uh, some players. The first two matches were just terrible matches against this guy says he's Thronebreaker. He might legitimately not even be Paragon. Matched up against a Valiant player. All rank fives, which is awesome, but to be expected for players who've been playing the game for a while. This guy, also all rank fives. Finally got matched up against a Valiant player for the final one, but not all Valiant rosters are created the same. And we see Unawakened Mantis to rank three. Prestige still hovering around 19,202, which is why those players are often getting screwed because the 19,000 PI is consistently getting matched up against an account like myself who has a 22,000 prestige. So, yeah, clearly this is going to be a struggle for players before the matches even start. So I say all this to say that the odds of you winning five matches in a row, unless you've got the best roster or the best skills, of which most people don't have at least one of those, if not both, are virtually impossible. And because they're virtually impossible, Kabam knows that if you want to get to those next sweet rewards, even though I also don't think they're that exciting, other than, I guess, like in this case, the the profile pick slash emote, excuse me, the, the Howl and the, the X Magicka rune stones. But in, in general... Um, this is not really, the juice is not worth the squeeze, as they would say. I would be very content just staying in Vibranium 3. And there's still over a week left at the time of recording this for the season. But the math on this is, is fraudulent because you're saving a very small amount of units, technically, to get these five and then the 360 Elders Marks, which again is not much at all. If this had been five bucks, it would have been a, a really solid deal. If it had been ten, duck, ten bucks, it would have been a slightly okay deal. Fifteen dollars is almost retail price. So this, the math on this is fraudulent because it's trying to convince you that it's it's a good value, but it's really not more than the minimum value. And on top of that, it's limiting five. Y'all, fifteen times five is a lot of money. That's 75 American dollars. Plus tax and conversion rates of currency of when it's available. So the I'll say fraudulence is, is kind of an emotional word. I'll say the, the math 
doesn't add up. The math on this doesn't add up because they're thinking people will rush to spend $15 cash on this. I really think 10 is the max, but five is the sweet spot. And we have so many great piggy banks that I love promoting on this channel to make Kabam money, but also help players that are in the $5 range. But $15, people are already hating Battlegrounds because of the credit card account matching that I just showed that I'm subject to, to, to feel really guilty when Thronebreakers have to go against me. And now you're telling those players, hey, it's not that you um, can't get five wins in a row. It's that you just need to buy more victory shields for cash. And I think I can see players really hating this just because it feels like they're already exhausted and now they're going to make us cash, pay cash to win something. I mean, it's a risk. Maybe they'll make a lot of money off of this, but I can't endorse it. I'm going to give this a generous D grade, as in denied, declined. Don't buy it at all.